So the first area I'd like to focus on in terms of the wheel of life is priorities. Which priority areas in your life would you like to focus on as part of our coaching sessions? Just to give you a few examples, I have some written up here, but remember this wheel is for you. So these priority areas need to be important for you. But just to give you a bit of a guide of how to complete the wheel, I've got some listed. So for starters, we have career. That's a biggie for a lot of people, as is health and finance. Then we have things like friends, family, partner, and of course, children as well. They could be dealt with as separate priority areas or sometimes combined as one, family and friends, and it all included under that banner. Then we have fun. Some people want to set that as a priority area because they want more fun in their life or more fun activities. And travel is another area. People might want to prioritise travelling more, travelling to different places or travelling in different ways, depending on what they're looking for. And then we have time. And often in this context, it means time management. People want to get more out of their time for themselves or manage their time better at work, at home, wherever it might be. Another one we have down here is work-life balance, because of course people often set career goals, but they might find that actually their career is fine as it is in terms of their successes, but actually they don't have a lot of personal time and they'd like to, to get a better, better balance for themselves. And then finally on this list, we have personal goals. So people want to get more things out of life for themselves. It might be a hobby they've not done for years or a project they've put on hold and they want to look at that as a priority area to get going with it. Then of course, we can be more specific. So under career, and this is the one I'm going to take as a, a starting example, we might have a specific career path that's a priority area for someone. So if I start with career for this example here and we look at the centre circle that I mentioned in my instructions, this is the eight segments that you can complete as eight priority areas that you want to focus on. If you can't think of eight priority areas, that's fine. Just start with one and keep going as far as you can. Just to make a start in this area is good before we start working together. So for me, I'm going to break career down into a lower level and I'm going to choose coaching as a priority area for my life. And I'm doing this because that's when I first started using the wheel and when it became useful to me. So if in this box I put coaching here, that's my first priority segment completed. And then I am actually going to go down the list and pick health as my second one. And the reason being is that that is something I would like to focus on now. So if we start with coaching, I mentioned in my instructions rating this priority area on a scale of 0 to 10. And that's what these dashes are here for. There's 11 dashes. So if I was to rate coaching as a 0, that means that it's not actually a priority to me at all. So that could be... Um, a reason to actually remove it from here because why would I work on something if it's not a priority in my life? Or it might be that it's not a priority right now, in which case I'd like to leave it on the wheel but at a later time I'll come back to it and I'll readdress that priority level and get going and set some goals against it. So for me coaching, let's say with the things I have in mind in terms of the goals I set when I first used this, I'd say it's about, it's about a seven. So as I mentioned in my instructions, I would then go to the seventh dash and I would do a line across. And that's the size of that priority segment now. And the reason that's a seven for me is that I have never wanted to work as a coach full time. There are other things in my professional life that are important to me that if I made that a 10, I'd take too much time away from those other things. So you get the idea why well, I might give it a seven instead of a 10. OK, so the next thing is health. And for me at the moment, uh, I have an injury and it's affecting lots of different things. So I really want to get over that injury. And so you can feel the positive drive from me that it's an important thing for me. And I'm going to put that all the way up at a 10. So my line is going to go through there at the level 10. So you can see the difference in the sizes of the segments now. 
So that's the priority areas, the priority areas of my life. So I might put family in there, travel in there. And what you'll see as you start to build this up is that once I start to go to my goals in coaching, we see a tie up with another segment and I'll show you that now. So my first goal when I set up my coaching business is that I really wanted to make sure I would coach abroad. So that's my first goal, coach abroad. And so you can already see how if I put travel in this segment, coaching abroad already starts to help me in that travel segment, in that priority area. So the second one I want is that I want 50% of my working time to be focused on coaching. So not 100%, 50%. So in setting goals as a new coach, I wanted to build that business so that I divide my professional working hours into half which are attributed to coaching, the other half to other things. And then finally, I quite fancied the idea of once I've been working as a coach for a while, so this then becomes a longer term goal, that I would train new coaches that are coming up through the training, um, you know, either programs of different schools or in developing them once they're qualified to feel more confident in their skills as a new coach. So train coaches. So I now have three goals in that area, that priority area called coaching. So then if I move over to health, I mentioned the injury that I have. So my first goal in this priority area is to be injury free. Okay. And then once I'm injury free, the next goal for me, what would that be? Well, I really actually like doing activities that challenge me and specific challenges. So there's a target, like a cycle challenge or an obstacle course challenge. So another goal that I'd like to set is a challenge. I don't know what that challenge is yet, but that's a goal. I want to do something like that. And then finally, to support my health and to support my well-being. I love swimming, it's good for me, it's good for my health, but I don't seem to fit it into my life at the moment. So what I would like to set myself as a goal is to swim weekly. So you can see the goals are very clearly attributed to that priority area. And as we go out, we start with a priority, priority clearly meaning it's important to us, the level of importance is measured by the scale. And then from that priority area, we move out to set some goals. And then when you and I work together, we'll start to come out to the wider circle to look at the action points. How can we make sure you achieve those goals? And that's where we'll start working together in our coaching relationship and build on this. We'll also examine whether these priority areas need to change over time. So just because you set something up initially doesn't mean that that is how it's going to stay. So use this as an exercise just to get started before you and I meet. But don't feel like once you note this down, that's it. There's no changes. We'll start to explore it together. And then through that, you will begin to decide whether there's any changes you'd like to make, anything you'd like to add. And of course, other goals that you want to set. I've given three here, but you might have five, you might have ten. It really depends on how important this area is for you and the things that you'd like to achieve in it. Just because there are eight segments doesn't mean they all need to be the same priority, doesn't mean they all need to have the same number of goals set against them. So be flexible. You might find that you actually just want to focus on one area. It's entirely up to you. Do what feels right and we'll explore it further once we get together. So I hope that helps. I hope that extends the written instructions and makes it really clear as to how to approach this exercise. And like I said in my instructions, if the circle doesn't suit you, then try a table. So just put your headings at the top. So priority, um, let's put scale there. 
and then goals. So you might have one health. For me, that was a 10. And then I have my three goals. So however you want to format it, it's about you, it's about what you want to achieve. So work with what's comfortable. The principles of the two are exactly the same. So looking forward to working with you and I'll be in contact soon to organise a date. And don't forget that even if we've been working together for a long time, this is always useful to go back to, create new iterations of it, update it so that it's always relevant to what you want out of your life at any given point in time.